All right, so since I posted that last video on me painting the trunk on the coupe of the 240, I'm not too happy with the way it turned out, so I figured I'd make this quick little, I guess, overview of the whole process of painting the engine bay, like, properly on my red, you know, on my car here. Um, I posted these in the wintertime or, like, early spring, but you know what I mean? I don't think I had, I maybe had half the subscribers or something along those lines. So definitely check this video out, guys. It came out absolutely amazing. I obviously prefer to use a gun as opposed to aerosol, but here in my shop, in my garage, no uh, air compressor. So uh, this was back when I was in the shop, you know, renting it out last year. Wish I still had it, but unfortunately we don't. So hopefully you guys are able to tell that I actually can, you know, paint. And uh, this was my first time using a gun, but, you know, regardless, um, yeah, check out the video. What's up guys, how are we all doing out there today? Hope you guys are all well. Uh, welcome back for another video here today. As you guys can see, we're doing the primer on the engine bay today. Uh, just to catch you guys up as to what we did off camera, uh, I just cleaned it a few more times, I degreased it a few more times, uh, I did it with some tack rag as well, so uh, pretty much all ready to go. Got it all masked off, uh, just obviously put some water on the floor as well to keep the dust from spraying back up on me. Ooh, that smell, dude. Oh my god! Woo! That's deadly. Oh yeah, dude. Do you smell that? No. Ooh, there's like chunks at the bottom. Oh! Good thing is, is like, this is just primer, and it's not like the final color, so this is like a kind of almost a practice. Oh, we got paint. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, toss my respirator on right quick. This is good. This is tricky. Holy sh! This is so tricky. I'm going to show you guys what we have going on in the engine bay right now. We're going to go ahead and mix up some paint. I'm going to show you guys what color we're working with, mix up some clear, and uh, hopefully we get a nice result at the end of this thing. Everything is cleaned down. Like I said, uh, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, not the whole prime in the engine bay video, but the previous video, we got, went ahead and sanded down the engine bay with some 600 grit, and uh, it is basically just ready for some base coat, guys. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just mix up some base coat. I'm a little bit sleepy right now, but hey, once I see some color coming down, I feel like I'm gonna just perk right up. I'm gonna get, you know, get so excited to get this thing done. This is a huge, huge stepping stone, guys. Once this is painted, the motor can go back in. All right, guys, so time to mix up some base coat. This in one in specific, guys, the color is, the color code, first of all, is LP2. This color came on the, well, it says here, but I don't believe this is right. Eh, maybe it's right. The 95 to 2001 uh, R33 GTRs. Uh, there's a bunch of different midnight purples, uh, but this one in specific is the one that appeals most to me. Uh, I absolutely love it in the dark. It's like pitch black, but once when you get this thing cracked in the sun, it just looks absolutely insane. Uh, it's a really deep plum purple. You guys will see what it looks like in just a minute here. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this top off. So, right off the bat, as you guys can see, um, it's kind of hard to get it, you know, on camera right now, but, uh, you know, this thing, obviously this is just kind of on the top of the lid, but you guys can kind of get a feel for what it looks like right now. See if I can get you, get you in there. We're going to go ahead and put on our reducer here, go ahead and put it up to, it's going to be 22 ounces, because we put up to 16, so 2 to 1, so we're going to be 8 ounces of this. So now you can go ahead and mix this up, and uh, we're good to go. 
All right, guys, well, hopefully, well, I can take this off. We haven't started painting yet. <laughs> so, okay, right away, I'm just going to go ahead and adjust my fan and all that good stuff right here. I'm going to go ahead and just test it out on the side piece of tarp just so I have exactly what I want as far as setting goes with the gun. Uh, you, it, with metallics, guys, you just want to make sure you give it a quick little, you know, mix around in there. It's been sitting for a while because all those little particles will kind of drop at the bottom. First coat is done, like I said, real light dusting. Once we have this coat down, this is basically just so it has something to, you know, to grip to the next coat. So you want to apply it a little bit more wet. guys well we have I think three three coats oh god maybe even four it's it's five o'clock in the morning I don't even know what's going on anymore all I know is that I gotta get this thing done it's really tough to make sure you get in all the crevices guys uh, especially with a 240 I'm sure all cars are kind of like this there's just so many you know places to get underneath you know like underneath that little bar right there um, Especially in these corners guys, that's a real, that's, it's pretty tough to get in there. Everything looks amazing, we have no runs, and I'm just super pumped. Like I said, it's 5 in the morning or somewhere around there. One more, maybe two more coats hopefully, and we will be ready to set the clear. Yeah, so <sighs> we're gonna be here for a little bit, and uh, but hey, it is what it is. We gotta get the car done, and uh, I can't wait to see it finish guys. Well, it's uh, about 5.30 a.m. Eating a donut, having some coffee. <sighs> it's good, it's good. A little breakfast, you know? Birds are chirping, but uh, we're plugging away. Gotta do the clear coat still. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and mix up the clear coat, or the clear. I'm also going to be using a reducer, just because that's the way I, you get a, a much smoother finish as far as clear goes. It lays down a lot nicer. Uh, so I'm just basically going to reduce it by about 10%, nothing crazy. Uh, just a little bit and see how it goes from there. And then if we need more, uh, we can always just chuck some in there uh, as we go. Alright, so here we go. Time to apply the clear coat. Alright, don't worry, this is on the outside. That's on the outside, it's clean. It's 6 in the morning. Well, it's past 6. So, uh, if I seem to act a little crazy, that'd be why. It's almost 7 in the morning, I've been here since like 11 at night and uh, so yeah and I worked all day today you know on Saturday so but I want to get this done guys you know me you know me you know gotta get her done all right guys so I figured I'll do one more coat and I actually put a little bit more of a ratio like a higher ratio of reducer you guys see me but uh I'm gonna just kind of test it out here, guys. It's like I said, it's all trial and error. Um, everything's looking good. I got a tiny little puddle down the frame rail. That's not a big deal. I'm actually happy that happened there and not somewhere else. A couple little areas where I'm gonna need to give a little bit more clear, and uh, we should be good to go. We should be done for the day. All right guys, so kind of a first finish glance at the final products here. 
I'm pretty speechless. I can't, I can't, I can't lie to you guys. For my first attempt at doing something like this, especially something with the metallic paint, I don't know if you guys are familiar with painting or whatever, but metallic paint is super, super hard to get like right. And I don't know if I got it right by any means, but it sure looks awesome. And uh, don't worry, that's obviously going to get taken off. I don't want to take it off now because that paint that's on the uh, the plastic is probably going to come off like it did because I tried already. As you guys can see, a little white flake. Don't really know what to do with it right now because I don't really want to take it out because it's still wet. Uh, but yeah, this is done, guys. I'm really happy. It's about almost 9 o'clock. It's probably like 8 30 in the morning. This took a super long time, but <laughs> I'm really happy with the results and I'm glad I did it myself and, uh, you know, didn't pay someone else to do it because uh, here I am learning stuff and uh, now I have experience, you know, painting and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, and, you know, of course, it's my car, so that makes it so much better, the fact that I even, you know, did all this stuff myself. So all right, so not too bad, right? It came out pretty, pretty awesome. And for my first time using a gun, you know, primer, clear, uh, base coat, really, really happy with the result. Obviously, this is just the first time doing it. I plan to do it many, more, many, many more times, but maybe not with this one, just because I've already gone through all the work, and it would really, it would hurt me to just sand through all the stuff that I already did. So, for now, that's going to stay. I'm really liking the color. Really love the way it came out and uh, a whole lot better than the way the coupe came out. <laughs> Let me just clarify with you there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that that thumbs up button would really mean a lot to me. Um, definitely stay tuned for the winter, guys, as well as the spring. A lot of stuff happened in the winter, but even more stuff happening in the spring. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys turn on notifications as well. I've noticed a lot of people don't get notified when I see a video. There's just like a little bell icon if you guys are on mobile right across my name at the bottom of the of the screen desktop probably the same deal so you know just to make sure you guys are always updated as far as when a video is out this one's for you ryan hopefully gets your engine bay looking just as good if not better i'm sure you got something up your sleeve as far as getting it looking absolutely sherry so you know for those of you that are wondering who ryan is he's uh he's a youtuber he has a youtube channel around his 240 he makes daily videos s14 sr20 in the process of being rebuilt repainted engine bay cleaned up because daddy link in the description so as always just want to say thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one later